Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full face of Believe Beauty, which you can find at Dollar General. All of their products is $5 and under. So if you're interested in how to get this look and interested in the products, then keep on watching. Alrighty, let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to use from this their point, Universal Lock It In Eyeshadow Primer. It looks like this. And it does have a little bit of color to it for sure i can see that I got one of their brushes um my dollar general didn't have um many of their brushes at all so i got their foundation brush it just looks like a short kabuki brush so i'll have to substitute in some eyeshadow brushes and face brushes eyeshadow palette that i picked out they had purples greens blues um I think that's it, People, purple, green. They had a few, they had like four or five to pick from. I picked the Nearly Nude and they're all six pan palettes. And it looks like this. And all of the packaging feels very like light and plasticky. It doesn't feel super cheap, but it doesn't feel super luxe. Obviously everything's $5 and under, but. Okay, so I'm gonna take just a large blending brush. Any um, products that I use, I'm just gonna put in the description box in case you're interested. I'm not gonna go through the different brushes and whatnot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this top color up here and gonna apply it to the crease and it is very, very kick up -y. There's a lot of dust in there, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, sometimes that means it's pigmented, sometimes not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that first shade right in my crease here. Um, by the way, there is one, two, three, four shimmer shades and only two matte shades. So there's not really much you know you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and take just a smaller blending brush and go in just into that darker shade. That these are not super, super pigmented at all. I am having to build it up quite a bit. For beginners, maybe these eyeshadow palettes would be okay. I mean, we're talking $5 and under anyway. So if you're not wanting to spend a super lot on makeup, so far, I mean, I, I really can't complain. This eyeshadow palette's not too bad at all. And I like the way that it's working on top of the eye primer. So I'm just gonna leave the eyes, the base looking like, like that on my eyes. I'm not gonna, there's not much more I can do with that, I'm gonna take one of these shimmer shades here. I'm gonna take this champagne color with my finger and I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner. Well, that's nice. That's very, very bright. That's really, that is a nice shade. That's laying down very nicely. I hope it's picking up on camera. It's very nice, a nice coppery look I feel like I'm just gonna take a larger blending brush that we started out with make sure everything is blended again I had to put a couple layers of that darker shade on but it looks all right so they did not have an eyeliner for the top at my Dollar General but they did for the bottom so I'm just gonna it it's a purple it's called um, long-lasting liner Queen mauve and it just looks like this. It's not a pencil, it's a retractable, it's a, it's a, like a, it's not a pencil. <laughs> I'll just put that in my waterline here. Well, it is a pencil, but it's, um, well, it is a pencil, but it's, um, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, goodness. <laughs> Alrighty, put that in there. So the next thing that I got, which something else that annoyed me is they had all of those stickers on there when you beep going out the door, the security says stickers. So that's why all of this looks like that because I tried to get them off to film and they wouldn't come off. So now all the products have that nasty stuff on it, which I should have just left them on there. So the primer that I picked was the Pretty and Primed Color Correcting Primer. It looks like this. Um, it says, apply small amount under primer with fingers or brush 
to forehead and nose, allow one to two minutes to set. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow one to two minutes to set. It's green, it's not silicone, it feels just like a lotion, is what it feels like. I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks, because that's where my, my mostly, my red is, is on my cheeks. I'll bring the access down here. Alrighty, so the next thing that I got is the Believe Beauty <clears throat> Skin Finish Foundation Medium to Full Coverage. I got it in nude. This color is probably going to be a little too light, but that's okay. The way the packaging is glass. This is glass packaging. And it is, it feels like super, I mean, it feels like expensive makeup. It doesn't feel cheap at all. So I'm just going to take a couple drops. And again, I already know this is too light, but... Um, I'm super tan right now, and they didn't have a darker shade. Their shade range is not the best at all. So I just put that out there. I'm gonna start at the forehead like I normally do, and I'm I normally use a sponge, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush. The brush actually feels really nice. All right. Well, now that I'm looking like a ghost, my skin looks really dry it's clinging to every hair and crevice that I have I don't think that I like that very well maybe if I had a different color I would but I don't really like that color at all or I don't like the foundation I don't know maybe I'll try getting a, a darker color but I don't know okay so the next thing that I've got is the light beige um, concealer looks like this again all that goopy junk and let's go ahead and put okay so the concealer is way darker than the foundation maybe I should have just taken that uh, concealer and used it for my foundation but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of trying the foundation so I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer where I normally do. And rub that all in, bring the access down the nose, and onto the forehead. All right, let's powder up. <laughs> I think I need some powder. All right, the powder that I got is light medium, and it comes in a plastic container, looks like this. Let's see if there is any, no, okay. So it all falls out so be very very careful if you decide to go get this i'm just going to take a a fluffy brush oh my goodness that is dusty ah, that's terrible okay let's go ahead and i are i i normally just lightly put on powder anyway so i'm just going to kind of dust everything on here and then judge the powder that way The powder looks really nice. It's very finely milled. I do like the powder. The powder is nice. I could definitely see myself using the powder again. I'm gonna have to see how all this wears, but as you can see, do you see all that powder? That's because there was no sifter, and when I opened it, it was already all like all in the cap. I'm trying not to judge too harshly because again, everything's under five dollars, so we have to keep that in mind. All so, right. I have the Glowing Highlight and Contour Power Palette in light medium. Again, just a plastic container. The inside looks like this. You've got a highlight, a blush, and a contour shade here. So I'm just gonna take, and let's start to try to warm up the face a little bit. This may be still a little too light for me, this contour, because I am so dark, but it's gotta darken up what I have going on here just a little bit. Oh, that's really pretty. It's laying on the face really nice, actually. Okay. I really like that. I um, purchased the three, like the th obviously the three in one, but they did have separate ones. So you don't have to feel obligated to buy this one. They have like a separate highlight, a separate blush and a separate um, bronzer. So you don't have to buy the three in one. They had different shades. 
I'm just gonna bring some of that kind of, I'm still looking pale. Alrighty, I'll take the blush, blush up the cheeks a little bit here. So far I really like this face palette, like a whole lot. I really do, it's not, not looking too shabby. Put a little bit on my nose. Go ahead and put on some highlight here. This highlight is very, very sparkly, like super sparkly. Oh wow, it's really pretty. It's not emphasizing my texture on my face at all. Oh, I really, okay. Well, it's redeeming itself. I'm really liking this face palette. I'm really liking the highlight looks really nice too. Okay, so I like it. It doesn't look too, too bad. I'm, I'm liking it. All right, it's not looking too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and they had eyebrow pencils, but their eyebrow pencils, I think there was only like four or five colors and <clears throat> They were really, really dark, dark colors. I ended up getting the eyebrow gel in clear. I I have thick eyebrows, so I really don't need to do much. But the spoolie on this is super, super tiny, which is awesome. I don't like the, you know, the long ones. They get all clumpy. So I'm liking that so far. That's nice. You can't really go wrong with a clear gel. Another win. I like that also. All right, for lips, I have the color, they call this the Satin Crush Lipstick in Soft Rose. Figured it would match the eyeshadow palette well. It's very, very satiny. It feels nice. That is a rose color for sure, but I really like it. All right, so the Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray looks like this. I've lost my lid already. Just give a little spritz here. Feels nice. Whew. For mascara, Extended Lash Lengthening Mascara. In black, they had a few mascaras, but I just picked the lengthening mask, uh, length, length, oh my goodness, lengthening mascara. <laughs> and the wand looks like that, which I like a wand like that. That is a big wand though, for sure. Alrighty, this is the final look with the mascara on. I'm really liking the mascara. It really looks nice. All right, to go through everything, the eye primer, definitely recommend. The eyeshadow palette, I recommend if you're kind of starting out with makeup. I didn't find the makeup palette great, but it wasn't bad. Um, the powder, I will be using again. Really like the powder. The um, foundation was so-so. I ended up warming it up, as you can see. So, I mean, it turned out okay. The shade range is not inclusive at all, but the product seemed okay. I don't know if I'll be using it again. The primer, I'm gonna skip over. I have a million different primers. I don't even know really if primers work, but I'm gonna just skip over the primer because I don't think it did anything. Um, the concealer was okay. Um, I use such a tiny amount of concealer anyway, but it was okay. My eyes, you know, they're not creasing underneath and they, they look okay. The, um, the blush highlight and, um, um, contour palette I really like. I would really, really, really suggest this. And this comes light, medium, and medium to dark. So there is two. Um, the gel for my eyes, my eyebrows, love it. Suggest that. I don't know about the ones that have color to them, but I do, I really did enjoy that. The mascara is amazing. I will be using the mascara again. The lipstick feels great. Looks great. It's the satin lipstick because I do know they have a couple different colors, but I really like it and I really like the color. And the setting spray, it's setting spray. It feels nice. So 
I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you the next one.